So what's going on, guys? <laughs> my shit <laughs> this is why I do stuff on my so what's going on guys we back at you with another video with our special guest the chameleon lady today we're gonna get into a video about Parsons chameleons I'm guessing she gonna get her one one day you feel me whenever we find somebody with some but Parsons chameleons are pretty much the largest chameleon in the world. Yeah, we're going to get into this video. That's a nice enclosure. What is it, a shower? That's a deli that they bought a shower from Home Depot. You see it? Yeah. Hey, this is just, just the filtering of the water going out of the stand was an engineer. Mm -hmm. They did that. Good. Okay. That's what you call good engineering. So Scott has oversized access doors on both sides of that the fire. That is large enclosure. It has screen in it for ventilation, so mm -hmm. air can go in and mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Now, if the chameleon eats something off of the screen, like, like a big one like that, but like half and half, or like this, like this, like this. Like this. Yeah. It could be very soft, uh, so if they no. four, get their thumbs four, on three. it, they're not going to damage it. What was that, four feet, four feet? That looks like that's going to be good. I don't know, 10 foot cane. The next challenge, six foot by 10 foot by half inch cast acrylic. We didn't have a utility trailer big enough to carry something six foot wide. So we got... So let's go ahead yeah, and show you guys how it. the tree was made. Yeah, I could have been, just okay. I was blown away when process. he started explaining how he to. was going to make this tree. It <laughs> it's incredible. It also has power running through it to go to some lights. Yes, lights. Yeah. Yeah. So Scott basically came out with a drawing of the design the of the tree that he wanted. And then we went to a local pet show here at the fairground. Scott was buying real bark off of cork trees. And then he carves and assembles all these pieces together and gets them in the shape of a tree. Lays PVC inside of it, spray foams it in, shaves it flat on the back. <laughs> I mean, he made a tree. That's, that's pretty decent how they did that. They cut the wood, that's actually pretty. You know, this must be for like a zoo or something. You know what I'm saying? This is the process. So You're not moving that. Oh, that's it. Huh? You're not moving that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not at all. This You're going to that. A that's a statue. Set that right up. Leave it there. You got to have wheels on it. Wheels. You call it on to the wall on the ground. That's the way it's going to be nice. You know, like up in here. A lot of space, so it's like he got territory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's two got territory too, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. And
and switch to another video. Let's see what this whole video is about right here. Yeah, so we can see what a Parsons chameleon looks so like. To me, it looks like a little old man. One of Kimbo's kids. Camilo and this one. I'm gonna put a hand full of bone. Ava caught him. He's still real. So this one was uh, a bit smaller. You don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's just like a big old veil coming in. Vertical or raw. So you got a hook here. Which is normally a main indicator whether they're males or females. It's too bad a cone. 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 You would say in the last like two or three weeks, it's become apparent that. Yeah, I said I don't wreck a tree. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of attached to this guy. It's really quite friendly. The leaves are really starting to come in. He's fat, way fatter than you. He's so much of a skinny. Well, they big as ever, but. Well, the like big slim. man is supposed to always be like a slender body. So I'm going to have another one of Kimbo's yeah, kids uh, named Asago. He's like five years old, so it's kind of cool. Kind of After good. they pick your weight in their stomachs. So that's why that one, your uh, character was so fat? Yeah. We get to enjoy this guy growing up. Should have a bunch more babies this summer. Different kind. Looking forward to that. Setting up cages today. My land cruisers full of baby cages that I picked up for my storage unit. Maybe get on my cages today too. On their sides, there's like ten of those cages. Six, six cages. Oh wow, he must live in a nice neighborhood because he got his cages in the front yard. You see this? Yeah. Oh, now put my hand in the garage. He probably got wheels that rolled it off of. Mm -hmm. For the light, yeah, natural light. That's fire too. You can take your you come in outside and let them sit outside and on in the, in the front yard for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And these are my well, cages. Mm -hmm. Drag these out on the driveway whenever I can. When I get home from work, I build these cages. Yeah, we got wheels. And in here, I got some of my Christopher's. I got some of the blue. Oh, that's fire. Christopher babies. So that's a Parsons blue Christopher's baby. Blue babies. It looks that way. And he look way bigger than what uh, uh, Sonny was. Mm -hmm. That's a baby. Is this dude up? Try to hit him up on YouTube and see him. Take him out when I get home. Yeah, he probably got some stones in there. I got 30 babies. I got to take them all individually out of their cages. And I'm saying, you ain't find nobody that breed parsons. He look like he got oh, a gang of babies. Nice son. This is very important. You see, the natural son is very important. A lot slower than any other species I think I worked with. Jackson's grow pretty slow too, but. They just kind of grow at a slow pace and they'll grow for quite a while, like maybe a year or two. They'll just continue to grow. The bigger parsons will grow for years. What that guy's looking at. I usually put crickets in here or house flies. I got, got to order crickets last week, so I got some silkworms from Beast Mode. And Mariana sent me the. So we're up right away, next day actually, which is really cool. So I got them on Friday and I got enough food for these guys over the weekend. Order from Gons on Monday. I ordered about 20,000 crickets mm -hmm. this time. It's starting to get to be springtime. Everyone's going to start eating. I'm just going to start putting more Fire. in their cages. And Them Parsons colors is nice, uh, like a panther coming in. Oh, what do you see? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Chewing on something. You chewing on the string? Zip tie. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah guys so that was our video right there we was watching parsons chameleons with the chameleon lady as you know let me turn this off yeah i appreciate you guys for tuning into the video and i'll see you guys in the next clip tat tat bmws and we out